What's up guys, this is Transurn3 coming to you with another Transformers Combiner Wars review and today we are taking a look at the new Transformers Combiner Wars Voyager Class Silverbolt and there he is in his nice looking jet mode yeah a guy is a jet and he's afraid of heights yeah but again what could you do guys what could you do so like all the other figures he does come with a nice collector card all right back you got generations transformers hasbro piece of cardboard so yeah that's really sticking to it the third party companies i think but again oh, what could you do guys what could you do wish they had tech specs on the back but again what could you do we'll set that off to the side and we'll set silver bolt and his gun off to the side and take a quick look at packaging you got silver bolt with Combiner Wars on the side there. Very nice. Very nice black and red packaging. Very cool. I like it how they integrated the movie packaging with the Generations. Which is very cool. Come around come around to the top. You got the same logo. Come around to the back. You got product shots. Uh, Silver Bolt. Zoom in there for you. The leader of the Aerobots forms the core of the team's combined form superior on a single minded force bent on only on Decepticon destruction. So yeah, very cool. So he has his one weapon that can split in a shield and a regular gun or combine them all together for the combined form of Superion with drag strip as an arm. Yeah, that's still getting me. Changes in fifteen steps. Product shots. Authentic Transformers. Come around to the side, you got a nice picture of Superion looking all, hey, I'm going to kill you. So, yeah, very cool. And I like that on his gun, there's a scope. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Winter time. It got a cold. So, again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, yeah, he got some nice gun scope on there. You see the little blue part to it very cool i like that so enough said that is the packaging so here we have silver bolt in his nice jet mode very cool looking figure very nice g1 looking mm -hmm. turn him over and there's oh no there's a robot there yeah he does come with landing gear and the back has nubs Zoom in there for you. There's a little nubs there. And which is cool, you can pull this up in his weapon. Take a look at that. Very nice looking G1 weapon. On top of his weapon, right here, is a wheel nub right here. So whenever you plug this weapon in, there's two holes here. I'm going to plug it in. Come on. There we go. Plug that in. It can rest on that wheel nub, which is very cool. And the weapon looks ridiculously big for his jet mode. But again, what could you do, guys? His weapon does split apart. Just tabs in. Like that. Just poured it in. And you got his weapon. Very cool. We'll split them apart. And let's get to the size comparisons. Let's bring in Masterpiece Red Alert. See how big they stack up. Masterpiece Stale. Very good. So, yeah, that's Masterpiece. Then you come to First Edition Cliff Jumper and regular Deluxe. So, yeah, we got Voyager Deluxe. So, enough said. Let's go to the combined form for the main body of Superion. First thing you want to do is pull wing off the side here. Or this side, doesn't really matter. Pull this plane part back. Fold the wings out. Untab them. And it's cool that it has little slots here in the part of the jet 
wing on the back of the tail can just rest in there like so you can do that for uh, robot if you want so now we got this looking weird thing now you want to do is un move his arms nice clicky joints rotate this all the way around straighten it up let's turn it undo the fist and that's one of the combiner ports it's a very spring loaded combiner port same thing on this side rotate his fist back and you got the main torso well the legs and then one thing you want to do is come in here get your fingernail in here and unpeg Superior's main head now you want to be careful here there's stress marks right here with this straight across here you gotta be careful with that you want to grab both of these at the same time pushing pushing it down past those little tabs that's up here on the sides if you can see them rotate that up keep a hold of both sides up like so rotate these rubberly antennas up and this will plug into the back of that notch like so and what you want to do is grab these red panels pull it out like so and before you go flip this little panel in rotate this over and these will lock into place and you got the main torso of superior arm very cool now his antennas don't want to stay straight so he's like a I like that antenna look it's pretty cool they're really rubbery rubbery plastic so yeah head does turn does not move on a ball joint which sucks but again what could you do guys what could you do so yeah so that's the main body so robot mode what you want to do is reverse this stuff here take it over unpeg this head pull the antennas down and grab both of these sections again rotate this all the way down like so and you wanna pull that piece down this will slot in there and it's supposed to tab into place like so and you got the antenna sticking out there so yeah and you want to rotate this all right around unpeg the sides of the plane rotate the legs and the arms they're pretty much there you just tab the arm back in rotate these around and you want to grab this orange piece up here there's a tab pull this out reveal the head and for his feet come down here grab the black pieces out and pull the hill spur down now the packaging he does come with these in like that which I don't understand why but again what could you do guys so bring his heels out don't have fingernails I cut my fingernails today and then these tabs like here will just cover some of that hole back here like so I wish they would have done something with the back part here because it really gets into his articulation with his legs but we're not really wanting the bot modes we want the combined mode more than anything so yeah but again what could you do guys so you can bring wings out like that uh, give him his g1 looking and there we go we got silverbolt in his robot mode now you can give him his gun and his other half of his gun there's a tab on the side of his arm both both sides you tab it in that can be a shield so yeah very cool figure very good gun of murder so yeah now for size comparison wise for him <clears throat> let's bring in 
one of the wave mates for the combiner is drag strip. He was in limb mode on my shelf. And voila. Drag strip. So you got Voyager Deluxe. Deluxe Voyager. Voyager Deluxe. Yeah. So yeah, very cool. Set him onto the shelf. So yeah, very cool figure. Let's bring in TF4 Ejo Extinction Bumblebee. You got Deluxe Voyager, like I said. And let's bring in Masterpiece Smoke Screen with the third party hands. <laughs> very cool figure. So yeah, very cool. So that's all I can say about this figure. Articulation wise for him is pretty good. Got nice clicky joints. So knee is on a double hinge, but you don't want to go back too far. You'll be hitting that. Arms go all the way around. Very nice clicky joints. Soft ratchet joint on his elbow. Heads on a limited ball joint because of his blocky head. So, yeah. Very cool figure. So, that's all I can say about this awesome new Combiner Wars figure, Silverbolt. So, you can get some poses out of him. He's a little back heavy. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, yeah. Very cool figure. So, this is Trans Aaron 38. Reviewing the new Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Voyager Class Silverbolt. And this is Trans Aaron 38 talking to you again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment on any videos that I do. And keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. And also follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff. So this is Trans Aaron 38 talking to you again. Have an awesome day.